Hello everyone, Mr. Beefy here with some Filsinger Games Champions of the Galaxy card play. What I want to start doing today is playing a little bit more of my classic Champions of the Galaxy Fed and I am starting my year of 2089 and I kind of want to try and use the FG Assistant app. And so I am going ahead and go get started. I believe I have my event already booked and ready to roll. So my first event of the year is going to be the Nebula Knights main event. This is basically what I'll be doing before my first big pay-per-view. So no championships or anything tonight but just to set up before the big event. So our first match of the evening is the Headsman versus Titan Power. Alright. Let's roll a die. To see who starts. Lord Nexus. Alright, so he has a better power. Death Knight is hurt. Shoulder Breaker hurt. Lord Nexus is going for a choice. He is going to go for a standing drop kick which is a 10 or lower on the dice roll and he gets it that hurts death knight goes for shoulder breaker death knight reverses goes for an illegal choke or nexus is hurt executioner is going to tag in dazed bear hug by executioner is going to attempt a tag who does not get it so executioner continues the assault with the nerve pinch lord nexus reverses whips executioner into the ropes and he comes off with a shoulder tackle, knocks Lord Nexus down, and continues the assault on level 2 offense. And he's going to go for an atomic drop, so he needs a 6 or lower. It's going to be pretty hard to get, and he does not get it. So Lord Nexus hits a flying elbow smash. Hurt. Tag. Does not get it. But... Lord Nexus is going to tag out. And whips Executioner into the turnbuckle. And he's hit with a big move. Billy Joe Boxer continues on level 2 offense. Hits a left hook, which he might get the pin off of. Needs higher than a 4, he gets it but adds a fatigue token. Billy Joe Boxer continues on level three. Hits him with the, or tries to go for a knee lift. Let's see what the choice is. He's gonna go for, he's gonna try the deadly power slam. Needs higher, less than a seven, seven or less. And he gets it. Gut wrench. Executioner is hurt. He's going to try for the tag. He gets the tag. And Death Knight comes in with an airplane spin. However, his power is not as high as Billy Joe Boxer's. So Billy Joe Boxer reverses into a gut wrench. But Death Knight reverses that into an illegal choke hold. And I hit the wrong button, and Billy Joe Boxer is hurt. 
And he, Death Knight, is going to whip Billy Joe Boxer into the ropes. And Death Knight continues the assault after hitting a big back body drop. And hits him with the Cosmic Lance. Alright. <laughs> and we're going to do a pin roll. And he is fine. But we'll get a fatigue added. Hits him with the loaded glove. Down. We're going for a tag. And he makes the tag. Lord Nexus, who goes for a drop kick off the turnbuckle, which is down. Roll two dice. Does not get it. And he is hurt. Actually, I did that wrong. Lord Nexus rolls out of the ring. Lord Nexus continues the assault. Hits the Titan Drop finisher. And let's see here. Executioner is going to go for a pin save. Executioner saves him. Death Knight still gets a fatigue token. And Lord Nexus continues on level 3 offense. And he is going to roll down. Hit him with a karate chop. And he's hurt. Shoulder breaker 2. Death Knight is hurt. Leg lift 2. He is down. Gonna throw him out of the ring. And Death Knight is hit with a big body slam on the outside. Lord Nexus continues. Actually, he's going to tag Billy Joe Boxer in. He's gonna continue and hits him with a Titan drop. And that hurts Death Knight. And he's hit with a stiff right jab. And he's still hurt. Billy Joe Boxer with a headbutt to can he tag out? Nope, he does not get it. Billy Joe Boxer continues, hits him with a right jab. Oh, and it knocks down, knocks him down, and he might be out. Let's roll pin. And he does not get it. So your winners are Titan Power. I'd say that's two of two and a quarter. Alright. Next match is the Invincible Kraken versus Red Talon. corner is weighing in at 198 pounds standing 5 feet 10 inches tall from a trim of 13 red talon and in the blue corner is the invincible kraken and so we're going to roll one die see who goes first and kraken is going to start this off and hits an atomic drop which red talon reverses to a wrist lock. Kraken is dazed and he goes for an elbow smash which hits and Kraken is hurt. Goes for a claw hold. Kraken is still hurt. 
And Red Talon hits an Andromeda drop, which he goes for the cover. Oh, <laughs> and gets the quick pin on Invincible Kraken with the Andromeda drop. And that is the end of that match. That was a quick one. I'm going to say that was a squash. Right, and here will be a fun one. The one I'm most interested to see how this turns out. Bishop Hell versus Omega. Let's see who starts, and Bishop Hell will start on offense. Goes for a headlock, and Omega is dazed. Another headlock. Omega reverses the headlock and goes for a body slam. However, Bishop Hell is more powerful and reverses it into an atomic drop, which hurts Omega. Goes and hits a Bishop Blast, and Omega is down. Bishop Hell is going to try and take advantage of that and hits his finisher the Flying Cross. And Omega kicks out of the pin, but Bishop Hell goes for another Flying Cross. And Omega kicks out, <clears throat> but gets another fatigue token added. Bishop Hell is going to the top rope, and Omega is hit with a big move, and so Bishop Hell continues on level three offense, and he's he's going to go again. And he hits him again off the top. This time he's going to roll down. He whips Omega into the ropes. And Omega is sent through the air with a back body drop. And Bishop Hell continues on level 2 offense and whips Omega into the turnbuckle. Which Bishop Hell wins. Hits him with the move, rolls on level 3 offense. And he's going for another death jump again. Bishop Hell goes for Hellfire. All right, so this is not looking good. He's got to survive his DQ roll. It's got to be higher than a five, and he gets that. So Omega <laughs> needs a higher than a roll of 11. And he does not get it in. That is the end of the match. Bishop Hell with Hellfire, Burning Omega. I'm going to call that one a squash. And I don't I don't think it looks very good for Omega at the end of that one. Star Warrior comes down to help the Hurt Omega after the fight. That did not look good for Omega. Now this next fight is going to be for my number one contender spot for the Tag Team Champions. And it's going to be Bomb Squad versus the Gladiators. Mm 
<coughs> All right, let's roll one die. See who starts. And Bomb Squad's going to start us off. And he's going to go for a drop kick, and he needs a 9 or lower. And he gets it. Brute's going to try and tag out. Does not get it. Ooh. And Bomb's going to roll up on that one. Hits him with a cross body block. Brute is hurt. He's going to try and tag. Does not get it. But Adam Bomb is going to tag in. Commander Sam goes for a knee lift. Barely hits it. Brute's going to try and tag again. Still does not get it. Goes for a gut wrench. And he is hurt. Gonna whip Brute into the turnbuckle. Ooh, Brute counters it, hits him with a clothesline, and rolls on level two offense. Goes for an illegal chokehold. Commander Sam reverses, hits a hip toss. Brute is dazed. Commander Sam tags in. Adam Blast, who goes for a shoulder tackle, but it is reversed by Brute, who hits Adam with a headbutt. Adam Blast is dazed. And Brute hits him with a headbutt, or a headlock, and then whips him into the ropes. And Adam Blast hits a sunset flip off the ropes. Brute is going to roll his pin. As long as he doesn't get snake eyes here, he is going to be fine, and he is. And so Adam Blast takes over and hits him with the Mega Blast, which Brute kicks out of and goes for a top rope clothesline brute is hurt he's gonna try and make that tag still does not get it so combo punches hurt two tags surely now he can get that lower. no he does not this is not looking good for brute goes for a torpedo dive Brute is hurt. Adam Blast goes for a pile driver. Down three tag. You know what? He's going to he's going to leave the ring. He's going to leave the ring on that. Oh, and he goes out, but Adam Blast hits him with a move. And so Adam Blast is looking to finish him off. And who? Adam Blast is going to go to the top. For a death jump, and Brute is hit with a big move off the top. And Adam Blast is continuing the assault and hits him with the Mega Blast. And we're gonna have we're gonna have a pin save on this one. So, outside interference. So, ma uh, Massacre enters the ring and attacks the opponent, breaking count. Add one to your pin rating. But, he is saved. Got to roll a DQ of six. And Massacre is DQ'd. That is a sad way to lose the number one contender spot for that, but that is the end of that fight. They're going to say Massacre lost it. So this means the Bomb Squad are the number one contenders. For the tag title match against the Animal Pack.
And this leads us to our main event. Thanos versus Mesmer. Roll for initiative. And Mesmer is going to start on level 1 offense. He's going to go for front face lock. And he needs a 5 or lower. And he gets it. But Thantos reverses into a running clothesline. Which Mesmer is going to try and leave the ring. But he's hit with the big move. And Thantos takes over on the inside and locks in the master lock. So Mesmer needs to roll higher than an 8. And he barely, barely manages to get to the ropes to break that at the end. And is then hit with a double knee lift. And he is hurt. Gets a fist to the face. And is hurt. Santos is going to go for Deadly Power Slam. And needs a roll of 9 or less. And he gets it. And Mesmer is down. And Thanos hits a full power slam. He is hurt. And he's going to go for another deadly power slam again. Needs a 9 or lower. Gets it. Mesmer is hurt. Another knee lift. Mesmer reverses. Let's see if he can come back. And goes for a leg takedown and gets it. Thanos is dazed. Goes for an arm bar, which Thanos has nothing of that. And goes for a satanic skull smasher. And Mesmer is hurt. Goes for another knee lift. Mesmer reverses on level 2. Hits the eye blinder. Thanos is hurt. Mesmer goes for the Demon Grip. Thanos is hurt. Goes for Demon Grip again. Thanos is just hurt. Another Eye Blinder. Thanos is hurt. Goes for a Body Punch. Thanos is still hurt. Mesmer is coming back. Hits a punch in the face. Thanos is just dazed. Mesmer goes for a Flying Drop Kick. Hits it. Thanos is hurt. Goes for a demon grip. Thanos is hurt. Let's see, choice C. So we're gonna go for a standing drop kick. Needs a four or lower here. Does not get it. So Thanos takes over in level two offense. He's gonna go for a deadly power slam. Needs a nine or lower does not get it, so Mesmer takes over and punches him in the face, which hurts Thanos. Mesmer goes for the eye blinder, and Thanos is going to roll out of the ring. There's a brawl on the outside, which Thanos has the better ring, ring, ring rating, so he takes over on level 3 offense. He's going to go for a shoulder breaker, which works on 8 or lower. And he just gets it. And he goes for the cov cover. Mesmer needs to roll higher than a 5 to stay in this. And he does, and he gets a fatigue token, and Thanos takes over and continues the assault with a double knee lift. And Mesmer is hurt. Go to choice. We need a 9 or lower. He does not get it, so Mesmer takes over on level 2 offense and whips Thanos into the ropes. And he comes off with a powerful shoulder tackle, so he continues his assault on level 2 offense and hits another running clothesline. And Mesmer is hurt. Knee lift 2. Mesmer is dazed, so Thanos whips Mesmer into the ropes and sends... 
opponent gets into position, you come off the ropes with knee to his head, knocking him down. So, Mesmer, that should read, Mesmer rolls on level, th or no, opponent rolls on level 3 defense. So, Thanos rolls on level 3 defense and is hurt. Mesmer hits an eye blinder. Thanos is hurt. Mesmer is punches him in the face. Thanos is still hurt. Mesmer needs some big moves here. And Thanos is hit off the ropes and Mesmer continues the assault on level 2 offense. And he goes for a body punch which Thanos reverses and hits a neck breaker and Mesmer is hurt. Thanos hits a big running clothesline and Mesmer is down. He's going to try and leave the ring this time. Oh, Mesmer goes for some illegal tactics on the outside. So we're going to roll, and he is DQ'd. Oh, man, that is harsh, harsh way to end that match. And ends via disqualification. And that was a better match until it came to the end. We'll at least give it a three star. But, um, but at the end of the match, it goes dark, and on the view screen up front, you see a dark shadowy figure and some laughing, and when the lights come back on, Thanos is out of the ring and just is left with Mesmer in the middle of the ring wondering what just happened. But... it for the Nebula Knights main event. I want to thank everyone for coming by. If you don't know anything about Champions of the Galaxy, I'll put some links to um, their various stores and stuff. And if you like playing online, I really highly recommend uh, Champions of the Galaxy Online. That's where I play a lot of my sim matches and stuff. But I also wanted to try out this new FG Assistant, and I might put some links to that Patreon as well. As always, thank you for stopping by, and you all have a great rest of your day.